with Sydney Waters, the regional director of the Better Business Bureau. And Sydney, when you buy a new house, a lot of times afterwards, you'll start just getting piles of junk mail telling you to buy extended this or have you secured this. Got to be careful. And there are ways to reduce this, correct? Absolutely. So when you buy a new house, some of that information is public knowledge, like the lender that you use and the purchase price on your house. So scammers have um, information right out the gate they can use against you. So there are a few things that you can do to reduce that. Um, and one of those, the very first one, and this is new information to me as well, Dave, is you can go to dmachoice.com and you can actually choose the, the um kinds of mail that you get, different advertisements and things of that nature. So you can just take mortgage, all of that completely off at DMA Choice. So that's a great website to start with. Okay. DMA Choice and that's dmachoice.com? It is. Yep. dmachoice.com. Okay. All right. I will make sure that we get that out there because that is the new one on me as well. Now, some right. of the things in your report that you're talking about for just kind of examples of junk mail, we're talking about mortgage insurance offers, uh, scams, but home warranty schemes and title deed schemes. These are so convincing. They are. And, you know, as I said before, they have some accurate information. So you may get mail with, you know, the purchase price of your home on it. And it looks like it's from your lender asking for a copy of your title or your deed um, or saying your warranty is about to expire. So you really have to do a little research and make sure that that's actually coming from your financial company. And we have a few ways that you can figure this out. Um, and the first one is going to be just with anything scam related. It's those words of urgency. So act now. Um, hurry, last minute, anything like that on mail is not going to be from your financial organization. And of course, one of the things too that really sticks out here is it wouldn't be out of line to just double check with whoever you got your loan with, their lender, correct? Absolutely. You know, keep all those documents that you get from your purchase um, and then you can cross check. So call your lender, cross check with the documents that you got, your deed, your title, your mortgage, everything that you have and make sure it's accurate. Just give them a call. That'll eliminate a lot of confusion. Okay. We definitely want people to go to dmachoice.com to manage this type of stuff for our junk mail. Where can people go to learn more about this? Yeah, you can actually go to bbb.org um, and look at those complaints. See if people have had issues with that lending company before, and that'll answer a lot of your questions as well. All right, Sydney, you are the best. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Dave. We'll see you soon.